the answer is so scholar at the St. Peter's University, Chennai. The topic of my presentation is tracking quantum based approach for iceberg wave evaluation. The flow of presentation is in this way. Here I am going to be brief about the abstract of this paper, our objectives of this paper, the literature survey, motivation for research, and the many more topics. <coughs> In the introduction, the objective of this paper is as we all are hearing about the big data concept or data is increasing day by day. So, how to extract the small set of information from very huge data? This is the challenge in front of the researcher. This particular research is going to highlight on that particular aspect. So, specific, specifically, this particular so, uh, research is going to make you uh, going to use for the data warehouse, OLAP applications, or the decision support system. The boundary for this research is limited to only these three aspects. So specifically the query which is executed on very huge data set or here I am talking about the analysis of the data so definitely it will be the aggregation functions are required. Aggregation function, group bar and having process. So it is the combination of all these three. That's why on the data warehouse such the query which is executed which is having the aggregation function and the threshold value this type of queries are called as Iceberg query. So the special features of Iceberg query are its work of the aggregate function. Another thing is that it supports the anti-monopoly property. Anti-monopoly property means what? If the main group is satisfied some particular property, then I think the subgroup will be allocated to that particular group. So half of the work, if we use this approach for executing such a type of query, half of the cost will get reduced. And another thing is that it is based on the threshold constant. Because of this, extracting from huge data and results are on the top of the iceberg. That's why such a type of queries are called as iceberg query, and these queries are useful for the data warehouse. The current focus of this research is that how to make efficient this iceberg queries. So for that purpose, the literature survey is done. For this, I have referred the number of papers. So in 2011, the researchers focus on this type of approach. Start in 2011, but the problem they face is that if they solve the problem of previous researches, but again the fruitless XOR operation comes, then again that concentration is only on the common function. As I am talking about the aggregate function, aggregate function doesn't mean only, only one function, it is a combination of common, so mean, mass and average functions. So like by number of researchers works. So summary of all this is that, all these are index based, they try to Find eliminate the need of scanning entire database. Then this research solves the problem of anti midwife and problem which occurs in previous research. Then algorithms specified above are not sensitive to the number of distinct values. So by taking into account all these four, four points, I, the proposed research, the base for the proposed research is all these four points. So after studying this from the various papers uh, from that uh, journals, so the motivation for this research is that, that currently available number of commercial softwares which handles the iceberg query, but they make use of a normal methodology. So initially solve the aggregate function, then coming clause, and then group by cost, and they use the answer. So it takes a huge time because this it takes a more time because it is going to work on the huge data set. So this is the bitmap based and index facing the problem of bit IQ, order of attribute also predicts the performance of the query and the researchers have developed the model for top aggregate function. So these are the four, four points which motivate me and uh, us for this particular research. So proposed model this, uh, of this is that basically whatever input we have generate the bitmap index which is the traditional by creating the bitmap index. But next part is that pre-processing of index because the Normally, whatever the indexing we are applying, which is or not on a 1 and 0 format, this is only going to help it. That's why from the huge database, even though the granularity of database is more, we can reduce it of the interest. Means what is the interest of a query? That attribute only we are to copy. Then after that, the tracking pointer module, uh, uh, module is required for the pre-process data and it will continuously keep track on bitwise line operation and XOR operations. So, bitwise and operation will directly give us whether this satisfies that is output or not. And XOR has to generate the new query from this. So, in this way, repeatedly for each and every query, from each and every set, we have to do this. But main advantage is that whatever the size of the database, what is the query interest, that is copied into the bitmap index, and next processing of that query is only with the bitmap index. 
that there is no interference with the original data base. So, mathematical model of this is that initially we are talking about preparing the bitmap index. So, if we are considering preparing the bitmap index of a big data, so here the space complexity issue comes in the creation of the bitmap. So, initially, if you consider this is the space complexity requirement of this, which is in the order of L, and another is the alpha query, and when we are initially performing the AND operation. So, AND operation deals with the computing complexity of that particular algorithm. So, by combining both, if you see the order of n is the complexity, so if order of n is the initial input to that particular algorithm, definitely it will be the feasible one. So, based on this mathematical analysis, I have done this feasible study of this particular system where database parts is been reduced, algorithms are deterministic, sensitive to data order, and I want over it are reduced. Then why bitmap index is selected in this research or how is it appropriate? Because I am talking about data warehouse, as we all know data warehouse, historical data and the uh, updates are frequently, uh, updates are not frequently, that's why as good as it is the fixed data, that's why once we create the bitmap, that bitmap also remains the fixed and whenever the query comes related to that databases, we are going to fire it on the bitmap. So this is the major advantage, that's why the bitmap index is appropriate as far as I the query is concerned. Another thing is that even in oracles, different volumes or journals also they have mentioned that bitmap indexing is appropriate choice for the data warehouse applications. So coming to, coming, coming to the R topic, here we are trying to, this is actually the some sample of a query like iceberg query, count function suppose one aggregate function on this and having clock and this is the threshold condition. Because of this threshold condition we are calling it as the iceberg query. So, if we consider this is the table R, the bitmap index is generated based on this particular table, the bitmap index is generated and next is that R research is going to focus on this particular value which R have now. So, here I just want to tell you that suppose July and milk is suppose the category. If I want to find how many times July and milk combination is there, I have to do the end, uh, operation of July and this particular milk field. But, uh, in the this calculation, if I come to know if count is greater than 2, then there is no need to do the remaining operation. That comes into that category. This is what actually the focus of my research. So, we have executed number of queries on the sample databases. So, we have required to calculate the number of bitcoins and operations required, XOR operations required, and number of iterations required to solve this particular problem. So, graphical analysis of this is this one number of bitwise operations required, XOR operations, and this. This tracking point or strategy is R suggested approach. So, advantages is that it reduces the time required to execute the query. This strategy supports mean, max, count time, aggregate from all aggregate functions. I hope overheads are reduced. And disadvantages is that it is not support the average function because the average function is not having the anti monotone property. And this strategy only works for the structured data, not the unstructured data. So, this will be the future scope of this research. And conclusion is proposed system reduces IO operations as the bitmap index is used. It minimizes fruitless and XOR operations. Then, due to pre processing, futile queue pushing problem also gets solved. And along with count function, this particular research is going to provide a model for the remaining aggregate functions also. And future extension to this model is work on the average function as well as structured and unstructured data. These are the references. Thank you. So initially we are performing AND operation. So through our program, if we see the AND operation is reduced. Next is to generate the new vector to check out whether it belongs to the same group or not. For that purpose, XOR operations also included. So XOR operation also reduces. Only in case of bitmap indexing, XOR operation is not required. And next thing is that number of iterations required to solve all the things combined neatly by making use of our code. Because after the execution of this, by making use of a code and the regressions are calculated. Thank you.